Lillian Brady might be nudging 90, but to this feisty mayor of one of the country's toughest towns, age is just a number. Suck it up, princess. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Over the sunburnt countryside of Coba, a new day dawns. It's a working class community which survives off copper and gold and perhaps the spirit of its leader. Here in this dusty mining town in far western New South Wales, men outnumber women. But when it comes to decision making, Lillian Brady certainly rules the roost. She's feisty, she's loud, and she has no problem in telling you how it is. Mayor Brady has held the fort in Cobar for 18 years. She's the longest serving female mayor in New South Wales. Well, here we are at the Cobar Council Chambers. This is Mayor Brady's domain. Let's see if she lives up to her reputation. Hello, Mayor Brady. Hi, Lad. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you, and I'm Lillian. Lovely to meet you. Lovely, and welcome to a Trevor. At 87 years old, she calls herself a tough but fair leader who speaks her mind. Move. Enough's enough. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> We're people. You know, like, when I walk into a room, they're wonderful to me. I don't think they're willing to cross you. No, no, I'm just a gentle little old lady. Oh, mm -hmm. We all believe that. Why do you think the people want Lillian Brady to lead this town? I don't know, probably I'm sorry. I don't know. Probably I'm, I'm very outspoken. And um, I won't listen to no for, uh, um, from the politicians. I would say they're just ordinary, they're only there like you and I. So, you know, I won't listen to their bulldust. It's all about it. What do you think is the number one leadership quality? Being strong, you know. You've got to think of your rate payer first. Lillian Brady moved to Cobar for 12 months, more than 50 years ago. Her late husband, Alan, was the town's GP. You know, when I came here, there was no nursing home and an old man had died and was sent to Orange to die. And my husband came home and told me, and I was very fond of this lovely old man, and I went up to the hospital and I questioned as to why they do that. And he said, um, that's our policy. And I said, then stick it. We'll build in our own. And, and you did? I did. Shall we go and have a look at it? Yes. Okay. Very proud. <laughs> there it is, the red one. There's no driver no for Mayor Brady. No, in fact, wild. no mayoral car either. She refuses to use it. Oh, look at this, chauffeur driven by the mayor. Instead, it's her red Commodore. <laughs> I have a lot of leg room back here, Lillian. For our tour. I can't see with this bloody thing on me. Of the town. That's our park, you know that, beautiful park. And that's our post office. We arrive at probably her greatest achievement to date. You must be extremely proud. I'm proud of the town. Since 1982, the Lillian Brady village has been home to Cobar's elderly. You're looking so well and so pretty. I don't know about that. And while Mayor Brady might look like she'd fit right in here, don't dare suggest it. Sorry. Tell me, are you yeah. uh, are you expecting this lady anytime no. soon? No. <laughs> well, if, uh, may not oh, be well. proud and honoured to, to care for Lillian. <laughs> are you ready for here yet? But no. I'm Once again, to... this mayor has her own idea. I, I, I believe in using neither. Mm. Really? Really? Mm. I do. Why? Um, because when I'm finished, I want to just... Don't cause any trouble, I just want to go the way I've always gone. That's controversial. I don't care, that's what I want. <laughs> Suck it up, Princess, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Mayor Brady says oh, no. she's serving her final no, term in local government, but hopes her legacy never dies. What do you say to all women when it comes to being strong leaders? Get on with it and be a woman. Stand up for your grounds. And, you know, and men will respect that. <laughs> Good on you, Mayor Brady.